Well, that's the former president there at the RSS event, making it very clear that India's idea of nationalism is a construct that stems from its constitution, that India's uh, nationalism is not about one identity, one religion, or even one language, that India has survived the test of time on account of its plurality, on account of its assimilating different cultures, and that, uh, according to the former president, is the way forward. Let's now uh, bring in reactions. We're joined by Congress spokesperson Zarita Letplang, also our RSS supporter Geeta Bhatt and joining me uh, on this conversation is my colleague Parikshit Lutra. Let me first go across to Geeta Bhatt. Uh, Geeta, uh, through the course uh, of uh, that speech that the former president has made, uh, going back in time, going back into history, the invocation of uh, uh, the former Prime Minister Pandit Nehru, uh, Pranam Mukherjee making it very, very clear India stands for its pluralism and its idea of nationalism stems from its constitution. Uh, you know, how would you respond to what you've heard from the pres former president? Uh, well, I, uh, well, if you look at the speech of the former president today, he has talked about the uh, the you know the secular nature of our country, and I think that is what uh, you know the culture which which uh, which our country has. It, it by culture we have been secular. You know, it is not that when when the amendment in the constitution came and then the word secular got introduced way back in 1976. We have been secular. I mean, after all, Chiraman Mosque. You know, that was the first mosque which was built in Kerala during the time of Prophet Muhammad, and it was done by a Hindu king of Kerala. So that has been a part and parcel of culture, and his message has been has been very clear and very strong that you know we we are a rural country and we need to you know plurality we need to celebrate the diversity uh, diversity which exists here and uh, that is a very welcome note and if you if you look at the uh, the speech of uh, uh, mohan dr mohan bhagwat and uh, uh, Pranav Mukherjee, you, you'll find that there are a lot of similarities in yes. them. You know, both of them, they talked about that there, there need to be a celebration of, uh, uh, you know, the diversity and the unity which is there, their various cultures. And mm. in fact, that is the strength of uh, our country. So both of them, they, they have talked more or less on the similar mm. lines. Well, they may have spoken on similar lines, but uh, actions are very different from what people say, uh, you know, during the course of political campaigns or during the course of speeches. I mean, as you pointed out, uh, we heard what uh, Dr. Bhagwat had to say, but there is also uh, a, a move towards the, uh, you know, towards a sort of uh, intolerance, if I could call it that. We've seen the lynchings related to the beef ban. Uh, we've seen the kind of response uh, that uh, the rape of an eight-year-old child evoked in this country. Uh, I think the, the former president also seems to be sending out a message uh, that that is unacceptable. Uh, and isn't that the message that at some degree the RSS as well as the political class will have to take back? See, uh, as far as you have talked about, uh, you know, the, there has been the supposedly cow vigilante, and as well as the, you know, rape of uh, some some child girls which have taken place. Uh, it is very important that we need not need not be selective, you know, while raising these issues. You know, the child rapes which have taken place, it is not that it was just one, which was very unfortunate which took place in Jammu, but similar kind of, you know, cases took place across the country in various other states. It happened in Assam, it happened in Bihar, in many other states. No, no, but, so but it was... We, no, but, what but is important is that we to, needn't no, no, be cherry-picking. The, the difference here was that the, the difference here was that the, the difference here was there was a concerted, deliberate attempt on the part of certain sections to actually come out in support not of the victim, but in support of the perpetrators of the crime. No, not at all. Not at all. In fact, whosoever such kind of a heinous crime has been done by anyone from whether from any kind of a political, religious background, that person need to be mm. given severest punishments. But the but the unfortunate part, which I would like to mention here, is that the state where you know, which actually uh, it uh, you know it was uh, kind of projected. To, uh, against the, what was the unfortunate part was that it was not taken as a you know case where the rapist needs to be punished, but it was a whole narrative was being sent up 
set, set up against the, uh, the majority uh, community in the country. That was the unfortunate part. And uh, while the people, nobody wanted to talk about the various Where other was... kind of child rapes within, in Ghaziabad, you know, the nine-year-old in Delhi, there was an 18-year-old, 18 18-month-old 18 girl, you know, who got raped, based on which there was no, a no, court case which point, was filed. No, this was not based about... Based on which, the, you know, the court asked I, to... I, anyway, I don't... The, the issue here was not... into that The issue here was not about the rape of a child. The issue here was not about the rape of a child. The issue here was the response to the rape of a child. But let me not uh, go down that road any further. Let me bring in Sarita. Sarita, the Congress has uh, expressed its anguish at the former president and Congress veteran accepting this invitation from the RSS. The Congress uh, uh, party chief, Rahul Gandhi, through the course of political campaigning, has basically called out the RSS. Uh, given the fact that uh, the president continued to uh, to sort of not disinvite himself and has now spoken and the manner in which he has spoken has it uh, to your mind sent out a message to the RSS does the Congress feel a little less anguished on the back of what you've heard there from the former president see first and foremost what I think the former president basically spoke about various international travelers and uh, you know, how they traveled to India and um, also how they defined the nation. And besides that, also he shared his um, understanding of the concepts of the nation, nationalism, and then uh, patriotism. But when we look at, uh, when, we, when we heard uh, Mohan Bhagwat ji's speech, he speaks of a Sampoon Samaj. Now, what is his definition of a Sampoon Samaj? That's the most important thing. Now, is this Sampoon Samaj a Samaj where there is discrimination based on religion, caste, and uh, basically a male-dominated uh, Samaj? So we are still to know what kind of a Samaj is he speaking about. That is first. And also, you brought in the beef issue, which I also wanted to speak on, that why the dual stand on the beef issue? You know, in the Northeast, during the elections, you have promised to lower the prices of beef. Why so? And in northern India, you ban beef. So why such kind of a, you know, dual uh, approach? I mean, you are allowing the people to have beef in the northeast, mm. and in northern India, you're banning it. Mm. So why so? But but uh, also, Sarita, do you also feel that over here, over here, with Pranam Mukherjee there, this photo op is extremely important. Isn't this a message that's also going across to Rahul Gandhi and the Congress Party? Because Rahul Gandhi, the Congress Party, at every event, at every election rally, they speak about the RSS, how RSS is sowing seeds of communal poison. But Pranam Mukherjee, by being present at this function, isn't he also showing to the Congress that we need to have a dialogue with the RSS as well? See, first and foremost, I think RSS can never bridge the gap that is there, okay? It can never bridge the gap with India's, uh, you know, foundational uh, values that is there. Leave aside imbibing it, mm. okay? That's the first thing. And the second thing, RSS's main fight is with the pluralism, uh, pluralism mm. of India. Mm. So it will be a very difficult thing for them to actually, uh, you know, mm. accept or imbibe what is there. So yeah. there would be a lot of questions they would actually have to answer. Mm. And if you would actually have to go into that question and answer, no. I've got a list mm. of questions that mm. we could but actually Sarita, ask. So Sarita, it would be really can... difficult for them to actually... Mm. Are they ready to change? Are they ready to change? Are they ready mm. to imbibe? Mm. Are no, no, they but ready Sarita, to let Sarita. go of their stringent Sarita, laws? I just want to come in here yeah, and pick up on the point that Parikshit made. I just want to pick up on the point that mm. Parikshit made, Sarita. Mm. Uh, you know, if you speak of an environment of intolerance, if you speak of the need to create a culture where different voices and different opinions uh, are given space, then why is it wrong to try and provide that bridge and, and engage with the RSS? Uh, they may choose to ignore your message. They may choose to remain as is, as you just said, that you know they may not change. But why, the, why is such a strong uh, sort of move to not even engage does that not also speak of intolerance then see dialogue is possible in any democratic order but the most important question like I said I would actually go into the questions mm. is that is RSS ready to listen number mm. one are they ready to change are they ready to admit their mistakes uh, both uh, of thought and action are they actually ready to give up their prejudice vis-a-vis -vis mm. women Dalits the backward classes mm. and the most important is are they ready to give up its inherent character of subjugation domination and violence mm. so these are the questions are they ready to but, but Gita, go ahead I, I, I want to come do, do you also feel that. that the RSS is now doing a course correction 
question because no. throughout his speech, no. Mohan Bhagwat was talking about taking everyone together. Samaj ko khade karne ki baat ki, see. acknowledge differences. Samaj ka sangatan hona chahiye. Sampoorn see. Samaj. See, Sampoorn, what does Sampoorn mean? Isn't this mean? a course Sampoorn correction? We've seen so many controversial society. statements from BJP no, leaders in the all. past. See, see, the point is, first point that I want to counter is that as far as the question of beef comes, it is very important for everyone to recollect that it was the Congress party which had actually the legislation that has come in 19 or 20 of the states fully and partially banning of beef. It is the Congress party which had got it. So mm -hmm. how are they raising a question on and saying that why it has been banned on North India? That is ridiculous. First mm -hmm. point I want to make. Second point that I want to make is about, you know, the kind of an ideological untouchability which has, which has been present mm -hmm. is actually very clear. After all, who has given an invitation to someone who is from a different school of thought? Mm -hmm. It is the RSS which has invited and it has, it has been but, a culture. But you're the parent all, organization of the BJP. Right? You always say Congress Mukt Bharat. No, see, see that uh, BJP spokesperson you, has to answer. Would that you that would, I, would, would, I cannot answer uh, on this. Opposition. I'm not here talking about but RSS BJP. is the parent organization. But, but you see, it is not, they have, I think um, uh, RSS has already clarified in, on it that mm. we have not, we have never talked about a Congress Mukhtar. That mm. statement is already there. Mm. So I don't think any clarification is needed on that. Mm. Third is whenever it is, when uh, it is being talked about, you know, discrimination of Dalit, the kind of a projection or narrative that has been built over the years, you know. Mm trying to project uh, RSS in that light. I mean, uh, when we talk of women emancipation of triple tarak, where, what was the Congress party stand or mm. where were the other people? Where mm. were they for the Muslim women standing mm. there? Mm. I mean, this is this is nothing but, you know, but, uh, double standards but, which is being also, projected but here. But also, uh, Saita, what about statements of all BJP leaders? Recently, we saw a number of rape cases that took, took yes. place. And we, we questioned those and top so ministers. Santosh Gangwar, yeah. somebody like Santosh Gangwar actually said, yes, sab hota hai, hota media zada bhao de bhao de you know? Even the deputy chief minister of uh, Jammu and Kashmir, the BJP newly inducted uh, deputy chief minister, he says, uh, why are you even hyping it? Mm. He, says, Ye to, like he said, hota hai. Mm. So if women's security issue mm. is you tag it as hota hai, mm then what kind of a Sampoorn Samaj are you looking at mm. when there is no respect for the women? Mm. Basically, you know, I feel this basic program, I mean, this program today, mm. I think the RSS has been under the yoke for too long. Mm. They've been burdened. Mm. And, uh, you know, finally they want to, you know, come out and seek redemption and do this pro and but you know, everybody this knew about I, I, Pranam Mukherjee's uh, comments or views on the RSS. He's attacked the RSS in the past as well. And today also, he's been critical of the atmosphere that there is in the country. He's attacking the BJP and the RSS. But by being present here, hasn't he shown that he's a statesman? He is a statesman, yes. Hmm. His views are personal and his Shouldn't comments Rahul are Gandhi personal. Shouldn't Sonia Gandhi be taking a cue? I don't think so. We should comment on that. It is up to them if they would like to take that. But however, I think it's his personal uh, decision to mm -hmm. attend that program and he has done it. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. about it. But there are many, polit well, there are many other, uh, you know, well, well, if I may say, stalwarts of uh, Congress party who have mm -hmm. come out very openly mm -hmm. and they have said that, you know, uh, the uh, ex-president should not have gone and visited mm. RSS. Mm. So it basically it is showing the kind of an intolerance which is there, mm. you know, among the uh, the political, the, the opposition parties and who have got this kind of an intolerance towards RSS, mm. uh, not vice versa. Mm. So, you know, there is a very, uh, the kind of a narrative that has been created, mm. like in terms of when it is being talked about women's security, mm. you know, it is important here to recollect that, you know, when this uh, incident unfortunate took place in Jammu, mm. it, it is only after three months that, you know, that people suddenly, you know, you, they had a wake-up call that mm. this thing had happened. And no, no, in no, between, no, 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 in Nagar Court, you know, that, that, the that, same, that, I just want that, to add that, that in Nagar Court, that, another incident had taken place of a seven-year-old where someone who was teaching in the Madarsa or Molly keep, had I done it to a seven-year-old girl. Well. Gita, no I one ever thought, why no one ever thought of raising the issue? This is not merely about the issue of rape, this was the response to rape, but we are running out of time. I mean, please teach every child, girl, child, you know, with equal kind. Of Gita, Gita, I will start by ask Gita. I would, Gita, I don't want to go down that road, please. I yes, want to please. end by asking both of you, uh, and I'll quote to you what we heard from Sharmishta Mukherjee, uh, the daughter of uh, President Pranam Mukherjee, when she tweeted saying, "Hope citizen Mukherjee now realizes that from today's incident, how the BJP dirty tricks department operates, even RSS wouldn't believe that you're going to endorse its views in your speech, but the speech will be forgotten, visuals will remain, and those will be circulated with fake." 
statements. Uh, this, this politically has been a bit of a masterstroke for the RSS. There is absolutely no questions about that. But, uh, uh, you know, Geeta, a quick final word on what this is now going to mean. You talked about how you believe that the RSS has been made to look politically untouchable. Uh, does this now legitimize the RSS cause? Uh, see, what, uh, what uh, uh, Pranab Mukherjee's daughter has said, I think this is some her personal comment. But all I can say is that, uh, you know, within our Indian culture, when our elders, when our parents, they, they take a certain decision, we do not have that culture of going out and publicly denouncing it or criticizing it. That, that is how I would like to sum it. OK. All right, Sarita, I'll end uh, then by asking you the exact same question. Political masterstroke pulled off by the RSS? See, basically, I think whatever Sharmishta has said, it's her own personal views. And I think uh, Dr. Pranam Mukherjee has also tweeted that both of us have our own views and we have the right to have our own views. I may not agree to what she agrees to and she may not agree to what I agree to. So I think we should agree both their views. I think that's about it. All right, uh, Sarita and Geeta, we'll have to leave it there. Appreciate you joining us here on CNBC TV 18 to deconstruct the importance and the implication of the former president speaking at the RSS event. Uh, appreciate your time. With that, it is time for us to take a break, but don't go anywhere. There's a lot more coming up. Stay right there.